Good morning, everyone. I am Lorenzo Amici. I am a research fellow at Politecnico di Milano, and today I will present you my work about monitoring landslide displacements through maximum cross correlation of satellite images. The aim of this work was to develop a procedure able to identify landslide displacements applying the maximum cross correlation method to a multi temporal stack of satellite images. The images uh, came from uh, the Sentinel 2 and the Planet Scope missions. And the software uh, is completely open source and is composed by GLAS-GIS in combination with custom Python scripts. The area of interest is the Ruinon landslide in Italy. And as you can see here, there is a description of the workflow of the procedure. Just to give an overview about the maximum cross correlation method, it is a technique that in this study was employed to compute differences between the couples of satellite images. The algorithm works in this way. We have two images. The first one we will call the reference image, the second one the secondary image, and we place a window in the same position of both the images. Then the window on the secondary image is shifted in all directions, and for each shift a cross-correlation coefficient is computed. At the end, the shift that has the maximum cross-correlation coefficient is selected, and at this point we can compute a displacement vector between the window on the reference image and the shifted window on the secondary image. Once it is applied to satellite images over the landslide, the algorithm outputs two maps. The first one that you can see here is the displacement magnitude map, and uh, it describes by how much each pixel has moved. In this example, the reference image is of 2019, the secondary image is of 2020, and on the right you can see there is the displacement magnitude map describing the quantity of the movement in meters for each pixel. The other portion of the output is the displacement direction, which describes the angle, or in other words, the cardinal direction of the movement for each pixel. As you can see here in the example, the images are the same as before, and on the right there is the displacement direction map. Since we obtain a displacement direction and a displacement magnitude map for each couple of images in our stack, we needed a way to summarize the results in a clear way. And for this task we chose Windows diagrams so that in a single graph we could have information about the direction of the movements the quantity of pixels moving in each direction, and the magnitudes of these movements. The procedure was validated using data coming from UAV surveys of the landslide. Firstly, the procedure was applied to RGB images coming from the surveys, and the results were found to be very similar to the ones obtained with uh, satellite images. Secondly, the displacement along the vertical axis obtained from the surveys were inspected and the uh, accumulation of material was found in correspondence of the highest movement detected by the algorithm, confirming the validity of the procedure. In conclusion, despite being a first stage approach to landslide monitoring with the maximum cross correlation method, this procedure led to promising results and can be considered a more flexible, scalable and cost-effective alternative to in-situ monitoring. Uh, future work includes applying the procedure to other landslides, trying to mitigate as much as possible the errors arising from the pre-processing phases. Thank you for the attention.